monkey frogs once again on Oahu, lots of them. The state found an infestation in Waimanalo. Sarah Madison explains how officials plan to get rid of them. Koki frogs are loud and pose a threat to native ecosystems. The state says the immediate concern is to prevent the frogs from spreading to other areas. It's a distinct sound that makes many people cringe. So far, 65 koki frogs have been caught by hand. We're told the primary area of the infestation appears to be about an acre along the base of the mountains, about a third of a mile away from the nearest road. They don't travel very far. They're um, quite territorial. So why they're so far away, we really don't know at this point. Um, yeah, and, and uh, based on the size of the population, it's probably been there for some time. The plan is to remove the trees and open up the canopy. This is like basically um, full coverage with big trees. So open it up, get it to dry out, and then um, look for a way to get in um, a spraying unit um, so that we can then start to use um, citric acid to spray the, the immediate area. Ho says at this time it's hard to determine how much the eradication will cost. One of the issues is getting the sprayer up into the location. Officials are looking at alternatives, but they don't foresee it being cheap. And then you have the issues with um, getting the citric and the water as well. So, you, you know, for example, if we had to build a water line that's a third of a mile somewhere, you know, that's going to cost some money. Right now, a team goes out weekly and removes frogs by hand. Ho says there's definitely a breeding population of koki in Waimanalo, probably in the hundreds, but there may be hope. Generally speaking, I think I think when th things have become established, they're there to stay, and I think um, we're not at that point yet. We, th this is something that we can tackle. Anyone who hears koki frogs should contact the state. We'll have that hotline number on our website, including what a koki frog sounds like on khon2.com. Reporting from Waimanalo, Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.